Hey everybody, um, just want to do a quick video here, show you about the ATV Guru front and rear bumpers for the Polaris Razor. Um, I had a Honda Rencon and John Botterson down at ATV Guru had built me a set for the front and the rear and did a great job on it and um, I could push anybody out, I could pull from it, they were just built so tough. So whenever I got this Razor, I said, you know what, I got to get me one of those ATV gurus for my for my razor. Um, it took me a little while to find them, but uh, man, it was well worth the wait. I looked at several other bumpers, Warren, Polaris, EMPs, but after having an ATV guru, um, it's hard to go anywhere else. This one actually has the winch plate in the front, which I determined uh, or decided not to use. So I put a LED light bar on the front. And you can see the quality of this thing as far as the welds, um, the ends, they're solid, they're not capped off. This one here has the aluminum bash plate, and it wraps all the way down past the uh, front of the A-arms. But that's the front there. Just wanted you to see them. John is a great person to deal with down there at ATV Guru. Show you the back bumper right quick it, it looks i mean stock they do such a great job on it um can't say enough about how good their product is it's kind of hard to see with the sun it's the first time we've had the sun out in a couple days but so uh, you can see down here i'm running mt1 afco shocks with the progressive springs from steve over there at making tracks um it's 50 inch razors not the s but, uh, man, those shocks, I can't say enough about Steve at making tracks in these AFCO shocks. Also, you can see right here is the back view of that front bumper. And it does not bolt to your radiator. It comes back behind the frame and bolts in here. And it's, it's a stout bumper. Uh, no doubt about that. Whenever John tested these bumpers out, I think this is actually one of the bumpers he tested. He had a 4,000 pound winch on it, on his Razor, had it tied to a 2,500 Chevrolet and pulling it up a hill. And he said, there won't hardly any flex whatsoever. So um, if you guys plan on pulling anything bigger than that out, you got some problems. I'm um, sorry the Razor's a little dirty, but hey, at the same time, if it's clean, that means you ain't riding. Look guys, take care. If you have any questions about ATV Guru, bumpers or the AFCO MT1 shocks um, that I got there from Steve at Making Tracks, feel free to shoot me a message. Take care now.